What's up guys, Mindless again. I wanted to share another piece out of uh, my collection. And every once in a while you get a piece that kind of just blows you away and uh, causes you to think, man, I, I really don't know, to, don't know where to go from here. And this is that piece for me. And um, What we're looking at, let's just get right into it, is a collaboration piece between uh, Jeremy Marsh and uh, Lee Williams. And what we have here is called the Kickstop Rockstar. And it's a great story about how this uh, design came to uh, life. And more importantly than that, what we're looking at is a complete both sides, Timascus handles with a Kickstop flipper with an absolutely gorgeous uh, grind. But this is the piece uh, that we're going to be looking at today. And, and to be honest with you, I've been looking for this piece for a long time and honestly thought it would never leave uh, the guy who owned it before his collection. Um, he's a buddy of mine. And this piece went up originally for, uh, it was an open bid auction on the USN, on the Usual Suspects Network. And um, it went for pretty big coin at the time that uh, the auction went down, I just wasn't ready to to get into it for that kind of uh, that kind of change. So, uh, anyhow, the piece ended up being uh, the open bid was won by a good friend of mine that's also located down here in Southern California, and um, you know, through time and different meetups, I let him know that hey, you know, if you ever think about it or you're ever willing or interested to trade or sell. I'm interested in picking up this piece because, I mean, to me, this is as grayly as it gets. Absolutely beautiful piece. So, a little bit about the knife. It is uh, cutting edge from here to here. The cutting surface is three and a half inches. The overall length is right around eight and a half inches. And what you're literally looking at is two solid slabs of Timascus. Um, with several different finishings and uh, a heat treat that's brought out like a bronze, purple, and blue coloration. And I think it just looks absolutely stunning. Uh, the blade is a hand rub satin, executed perfectly. And then you can see the maker's marks of uh, Lee Williams and Jeremy Marsh right there. Uh, Lee chose to go with the hand signed. It's like on a pantogram. And then Jeremy Marsh went with his... Uh, the M logo right there, absolutely stunning. Uh, the hand rub is done perfectly, and you can notice on the flats, the hand rub follows, they're perfectly horizontal, and on the um, primary bevel, they they swoop with the curve of that bevel, so a little bit of even uh, contrast, something to look at on the blade itself. Uh, the back side of the blade is completely sterile, and you can see that it was like a, a polished, Originally polished and then hand rubbed. So be behind the hand rub, you could see that it's a, a highly reflective surface. Absolutely beautiful. So um, this piece, interesting. So the model is called the Rockstar. It is from uh, Jeremy Marsh. And what he did was, uh, the story goes, that he had a uh, competition for anybody to submit a design and he would choose a design uh, that he felt he was worth it and he would make the knife and this design uh, was done by a pretty well-known collector a uh, guy by the name of Jeff Roxas and uh, who's very well known for making uh, logos for many of the makers marks for many of the makers that we all know and love but he designed uh, the rock star and Jeremy decided to make it and at that time, what well, still is, there is a Jeremy Marsh rock star that is not kickstop. And there are not too many of those floating around, but they're out there. Down, you know, flash forward a little bit, seems like Lee and Jeremy decided to do a collaboration and apply Lee's kickstop mechanism to the rock star model. And this is what they came up with. And I know there are a few uh, kickstop rock stars floating around. However, I know this is the only full Timascus piece, the full dress piece, and I think it's a, it is a one of a kind. And um, 
Honestly, I'm just stoked to have it in the collection. This represents uh, ultimately what I'd like to do with my collection. You know, oftentimes what I'd like to do and what really happens are two different things. But like I said in past videos, for the year 2016, I'd like to shuffle the collection around just a bit and go for more um, unique pieces, more one-off pieces. And this fits the bill. Seriously fits the bill. Action on this thing is ridiculous, guys. Uh, you know, if you follow me, I have quite a few kick stops. Uh, the action on this particular knife is exceptional. Uh, extremely, extremely powerful. Very smooth. And by smooth, I don't mean how it closes. I mean literally when you're closing the blade manually, you feel zero resistance on the pivot very silky kind of hydraulic feel and um, it's been tightened perfectly by the makers never needed to adjust it dead center as you'd expect look at the tolerances on this thing guys just unbelievably tight perfectly executed and there's so much in the handles that you kind of want to just point out a few things to you and first of all this is the uh, presentation side it is one piece, but they've kind of milled out a piece and then they've kind of done some type of stippling back here. This is just smooth. It's been heat treated. And then back here, you can see the texture applied. It's just absolutely beautiful. It gives traction, but it also gives some contrast. If this was one solid piece, it would just look too shiny. I don't know. It looks better this way. Go on to the back side. That stippling is carried over. And then a solid Timascus backspacer. Beautifully, beautifully done. Come to the lock side and then you see Jeremy's uh, famous pocket clip with hidden hardware. And then the same thing mirrored. So you have that polished and then the stippling coming down. You could see Lee Williams' lock bar cut out with... Um, his lock bar relief cut out with the fins. Very, very common. Very, very uh, unique to Lee Williams. Um, just beautifully, beautifully done. What you also see is the hardware is also anodized bronze. And what I've been told is that the pivot is actually stainless steel. And the hardware back here is titanium. And they've matched that bronze color perfectly. Absolutely stunning you guys i wanted to share this with you just because for its rarity um honestly the only time i've ever seen it was initially at the usn auction when um uh, it was presented to the knife community as you know and bids were being taken that was the time I, the first time i saw the piece and then after that i've never seen a picture of it i've never seen it um the gentleman that that won the auction my buddy is a very private collector, and I know this went into his collection and was never carried. And it is mint, mint condition. There's not even a hairline scratch on this thing. Um, just clean the blade real quick. Now, it is a magnet for fingerprints, but again, this is the kind of piece that is just for show. Honestly, I, I'd carry it if I was going to go meet up with other knife uh, collectors, but I probably would never use it, even though I know Lee uh, would take care of any spa or any, uh, you know, scratches or whatever. I just want to keep it in the original uh, condition that it came to me. Absolutely beautiful. If you look at the blade shape, this is the part that uh, Jeff Roxas designed. And I think it is an absolutely beautiful, beautiful blade. I've seen rock stars that are not kickstop where it has a little bit of like of a platinum tip up here. It has that same swedge coming down, but this one does not have that. It just has the nose swedge. A much simpler, cleaner look. Absolutely stunning, you guys. Just perfect. Every inch of this knife is absolutely perfect. Lockup is super early. Just absolutely perfect. If you look on the inside of the backspacer, if I can get the light on it, you'll see uh, the names of both makers. This is uh, Jeremy Marsh, Lee Williams, 2015. And you know I, I'm a big fan of that when they uh, hand sign or hand engrave a piece. You know that this was made um, by hand. Absolutely beautiful knife.
gorgeous, gorgeous piece. So, so the piece goes into my buddy's collection, and I honestly thought that's where it would stay. This is one of those pieces that you can kind of build an entire collection around. Um, and out of the blue, about a month ago, I get word that, hey, Mark, if you're interested, uh, I'm interested in some of your knives. So we we met up, had a long conversation and negotiations, and uh, ended up trading some pretty graily knives. In the trade, uh, one of my Barkers left my collection. And you guys know how much I'm a fan of uh, John Barker knives. But I had quite a few of them and to add to be able to bring this piece into my collection was um, it was absolutely worth it in my opinion um, I said before a lot of collectors that are collecting pieces at this level aren't really motivated by money um, they'd be willing to let go of a piece of this stature as long as another piece of similar uh, quality or uh, you know really, really rare stuff would come back into the collection. Effectively, they just want to trade. It's not money that they're looking for. So uh, I was lucky enough that uh, my buddy wanted some Barkers, so we went ahead and executed it. And now this is in my collection. And I can say without a doubt, um, this piece will stay uh, in my collection as long as I'm collecting knives. Hell, if I even stop collecting and I just decide to keep two or three pieces, this is one that will stay. It is just absolutely that rare and that unique compared to what else is in the market um, that I think it will always have a place uh, in my collection. And I've grown to love this piece seriously over the past, uh, the past month. I mean, the more you stare at the, uh, the patterning in the Timascus, the more you just get mesmerized by it. You could literally sit there and look at it all day. Um, just absolutely stunning. Stunning piece. Even if you look at the the details of the heat anodizing, take out the lock bar relief cut. In between each fin, it's been anodized bronze, so it gives a nice contrast, and you actually it brings attention to that cutout, so you can see the work that's gone into it. And it's just amazing. I mean, even there's a there's a lanyard hole, and I don't know anybody that put a lanyard on this thing, but it actually doesn't detract from the beauty of the piece. And I honestly think it's because of how busy the patterning is in the Timascus. If you look at the colors, let me see if I can get this to focus. There you go. Absolutely stunning coloration and extremely even across the entire handle. And that's something that, um, you know, I have quite a few pieces that are comp you know, solid Timascus handles. And rarely do I see even coloration across the entire piece. This actually, they nailed it, honestly. You got two masters in Lee Williams and Jeremy Marsh, and after handling this piece, there is zero doubt that they're at that level. Just absolutely stunning work. Gorgeous, gorgeous piece. I mean, look, I could stare at this thing all day, you guys. And the craftsmanship, the quality is absolutely there. Beautiful. I'll just flip it a few times so you can get a feel for the action. Gorgeous, gorgeous stuff. I had to share with you guys. This is one of my favorites. <clears throat> this is one of the best in my collection. And I'm just thoroughly stoked to have it so anyway if you have any questions about this or any of the other videos i've done please don't hesitate to uh you know put something in the comments i, I do um literally read each comment and try to reply to each comment so thanks for stopping in and watching another video um i really really truly appreciate it you guys uh again this is the lee williams jeremy marsh kick stop rock star in full time mascus if you have any questions at all again please don't hesitate to ask i'll see you on the next video take it easy fellas